Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you the camisole I made out of the top which I got from the charity shop or thrift store or op shop, um, whichever you call it in your country. Um, it cost me £1.50 because it was on the sale rail and it was a UK size 24 um, which is quite big on me because I'm not a UK size 24. Um, so I decided to make a camisole as it's polyester so I didn't want to make a top which had sleeves to it. Um, and you will see from the pictures that there is like a half lining but I didn't have enough material from the top to then have the same on the outside and the inside. This is what you should do then you wouldn't have the problems that I had. Um, I also messed about with the straps but I will show you that um, um, how I constructed that um, now. I printed out and stuck together the PDF pattern for the camisole, um, I then removed the sleeves from the original top and the, the front and the back. I then put the pattern pieces which I had taped together over the top of the fabric, trying to match the border print which is at the bottom of the original top. Um, I didn't have enough leftover fabric to make the lining, so I had to just use what I had available, which was a grey polyester fabric which was slightly thicker than the top. Um, I then stay stitched it all. I had to make with straps um, which were too short to start with so I then made some other ones. I made them longer and then they were too long so I had to then shorten those. I turned these straps using just the safety pin. It was fairly easy because they weren't that narrow. Um, I then, you'll see in this next photo, that I had to unpick the stitching um, and then pull the straps out to make them shorter. Um, and then once I did that, I could then sew the top back up again. The um, the straps for the camisole do more or less cover my bra straps at the front. Um, that's a line up. And, oh, excuse any creasing here. I think it's just due to the fact that I've got a different lining fabric to the top and it has stretched it out a little. So just excuse that. I'm treating it more as a practice garment. Um, but the thing about the straps is if I turn around, um, it doesn't fully cover, there's a, I'll stand up so you can see, there's a V in the back there, um, but it, whoa, sorry, it's a chest spinny chair, um, but it doesn't fully cover my straps at the back, which is a little bit annoying, so if you have any ideas of how I can rectify this, um, please leave a comment down below, and so I can sort it out for the next time that I make this top. So this is the finished top, it's far from perfect, but it's wearable. Um, next time I would definitely size up in the pattern so it's not such a snug fit. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.